right, Jose, step right on there. Okay. 224. Four. All right. We uh, weighed in over here almost two weeks ago, and we're up about. I weighed in at 210.4 at the show. So that's. What's that? They have 14, 14 pounds heavier than your stage weight? Yeah, that's about right. Yeah. 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 Well, probably closer to 20 pounds, because then I de deplete the water right. out too. Right. So. Cool. Let's see how many calories you're burning. All right. Yeah, so right now we're just, uh, <clears throat> we're testing Jose's resting metabolic rate right now. So he's totally fasted. He's been fasted for about 12 hours, no caffeine, no stimulants, no food, no exercise for the past 12 hours. So we're getting a true um, assessment of what his metabolism's telling us right now. Um, this will help for his, uh, you know, off season prep and, you know, manipulating his calorie intake and whatnot. <clears throat> curious to see this because I don't know of any uh, bodybuilding uh, data on resting metabolic rates so um, I'm sure it's I'm sure just given the amount of lean mass uh, it's gonna be pretty high very likely above normal So we base whatever he breathes into this machine off what's called the Harris-Benedict equation. So that's sort of like the standard assessment if you don't have a resting metabolic heart to kind of um, base what your metabolism is telling you. Um, it's a formula. It's like your height, your weight, your age, a couple other factors. Um, but this is a direct measurement, so it's it's it'll just be really interesting to see what what his numbers are compared to the the standard. We'll, we'll get a better uh, idea of what it, what normal would be considered after the test, but um, you know, between, again, this is just a ballpark estimate, between 1,800 to 2,400 calories would be normal. Um, I just saw right there about 3,400. <laughs> so it's gonna fluctuate, the number's gonna fluctuate over the course of the next 20 to 25 minutes um, until we get sort of a stable, stable number. the screen um, it shows that Jose is burning about 3182 calories at rest over a 24-hour period now his predicted RMR for his for a person of similar height and weight would be about 1987 calories so that's actually what he's burning right now is actually way above normal <laughs> you're 60% above normal right now so that's 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 how many calories you're burning simply to maintain your body mass right now. Wow. Okay. Um, so See, it's, so it's a lot. In, I take in some days around 1,800 calories. So right now he's burning way more than he's taken in, which is probably why you're as lean as you are. Yeah. You know, so you factor in the amount of muscle mass you have in your body, the, the simple act of protein synthesis, which is burning calories. Um, you're burning, you're just... This is, you know, we don't we don't see numbers like this, so this is just kind of off the textbooks. You know, these numbers right here, these are going to change on a daily basis where it says lifestyle and activity right. and exercise. I mean, you're burning more than that over the, you know, over a hard workout. I'm sure you're burning probably five to 600 calories yeah. in a given workout. So your total, total energy output over the course of a day when you factor in just m simple movement and exercise is a little above 4,500 calories. Wow. So that's how much he's he's burning um, over the course of a day. So, yeah. So that, that gives you an idea of days that I don't lose weight. The extra things that I'm adding to my diet that make up for those calories. Otherwise, I would be losing a tremendous amount of weight quickly. Yeah, you would be, you know. So the trail mix, things like that that I add, even creamers, uh, non-dairy creamers, the um, sweeteners, things like that all add up sugar-free ketchup. Even though they are lighter, lower, they do add up. Otherwise, I would be 
way, 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 way lighter than I am. Yeah, yeah. What are you taking him right now for calories? Apparently, I mean, if you if you if you were to just ballpark it, I would probably say thirty five hundred calories somewhere okay. in there. Yeah. And so then I, mean, I you're, do you're, two you're, cardio sessions a day and yeah, a weight so training. Your cardio session. I mean, you're probably burning around six hundred calories in a, in a single cardio session. Right. You're doing forty five minutes to sixty. Minutes. So you're you're at you're at a deficit. I mean, you're probably at a deficit, a huge deficit right now. Yeah. You know, so um, in order for you to gain weight, you'd need to take in a massive amount of food. Right. Like at least five, at least five thousand calories you'd have to take in. Yeah. You know, just to simply gain weight. You know. So. And I could do that easy because the, when the food <laughs> the changes, the chocolate muffins, exactly, and the um, the yeah. um, pancakes, things like that, yeah. skyrocket it right away. Yeah. But as a bodybuilder, you got to eat clean. You know, right. Put on clean mass. So that's right. the hard part. It's easy to gain weight on junk food, but oh man, to try to eat five thousand, six thousand calories clean. Clean food. That's people tough. don't know how difficult that is. That's why he has to eat, you know, five, six times a day at least. Right. You know. Right. Because it's just a quantity issue at that. Exactly. Point. Right. T- taking ten ounces of meat each meal. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, a cup, sometimes a cup and a half of, of oats or rice, mm-hmm. plus vegetables, uh, which I don't even eat enough of vegetables. But um, can you imagine the amount of vegetables you'd have to eat to get up there? Just, just, yeah, no. <laughs> Basketfuls, you know? Yeah, right. Oh, yeah. This is very interesting. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's uh, it's cool for us because we just, you know, we don't see numbers like this. So right. you're, uh, you're a phenomenon, Jose. Yeah, well, hopefully... Uh, this is going to help me to get even tighter for the next event. Yeah. It, it, it puts things in perspective for me, for sure. Yep. Because um, there are definitely a lot of things I could be cutting. Because my weight, it doesn't drop drastically, you know. Yeah. And that's probably because of all the little extras that I'm taking in. Yeah. You know, for you to tighten up, you just make probably just a 10% adjustment, you know, off something like that, or even just eating at maintenance, you know what I mean? Because you're burning, you know, again, so much. Um, Just start eating at maintenance and you'll you'll lose weight, but you don't even need to eat at maintenance. I would say probably take in around 4,000 calories a day and you'd still probably lose weight, you know, so given the, you know, the amount of exercise you're doing, so. Wow, this is crazy. Yeah. Very good stuff. Cool. Yeah. Good stuff, man. Thank you so much. Yeah, good working with you. I appreciate you. Yeah, time. yeah, you got it, bud. We'll be back next week to uh, go over the over the blood work and oh. to do the carotid scan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As well. Yeah, that'll be interesting. Um, this too. is so cool. All the different things that you guys have available here. Yeah. I mean, if you're missing something here, then if you can't influence your health positively here you can't do a period <laughs> honestly you yeah, have every yeah, yeah. tool available yeah yeah so if, if anyone's in the boston area and wants to come by here for a rest and metabolic rate test or a dexa scan or even a vo2 max test if that's something you're interested in we can work with you um otherwise you know if you're not um just source one out in your local area we're happy to help and give referrals however we can so do they reach you through Cenogenics or Max Performance? Yeah, no, you, you go to the Cenogenics uh, Dash Boston website. Um, there's a book performance test tab on there. Um, I do all the testing here, all the um, performance tests here, so uh, you'd be working with me. But yeah, it's really easy. You can book online, make your payments through there. So that's the best way to reach us. Awesome. Yep. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for coming in. This is the Boston Mass. Thanks again for watching. Now, if you're not subscribing, subscribe now. Tell all your friends to subscribe. If you haven't, do it now. All right?